Hey gang, how are you doing? Jonathan here for Tail Hunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz video fishing report, coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, and covering all of the fishing action for our Tail Hunter Sport Fishing fleet for the dates of the 18th through the 26th of September, 2021. Wherever you are, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for checking in. Thanks for spending time with us, and please do us a big favor, give us a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's jump right into it this is not going to be short mainly because i've got so many photos once again to show you and quite honestly this might be one of the most boring fishing reports i've done all year because frankly the weather was boring the fishing was boring but not in a bad way and like i said there's so many photos i could probably just stop right now say thank you very much for checking in and just show you all of the photos because that would tell the big story i say it's boring in a good way because for once if you've been listening to the fishing reports, you know that, well, you know, this past five or six weeks, four weeks, whatever it may be, we keep having these storms. We had Hurricane K come through. We had Tropical Storm Javier. We had a couple others. I forget their names, but they've come through. They've threatened us. It's kind of messed up our fishing. We had to cancel some days here and there. It has not made for very good weather conditions. I say it's been boring because this past week we didn't have a storm. We had one that sort of kind of came up. It kind of scared us for a while. We had our fingers crossed, but fortunately it bent outside, went out to the Pacific. It did send some clouds our way, but overall nice, sunny, boring weather. The kind of stuff where you want to tell people, free the toes, put on your shorts, your flip flops. It's going to be flat. The weather is going to be great. Uh, the coldest thing you're going to see, the most, uh, uh, ice you're going to see is going to be in a margarita glass. It was excellent, excellent weather for the most part for the whole week. So nice and boring. As for the fishing, once again boring. We caught Dorado and we caught more Dorado and then we caught even more Dorado. Um, it was just, you know, good fishing. Not to say that there's nothing else but Dorado and no one was complaining that it was only Dorado. It's just that the Dorado are so numerous for the most part. The Dorado are scattered all over the place. The Dorado are so voracious and aggressive that you almost don't have time to go chase anything else. You know, why travel five miles offshore when the fish are a hundred yards off the beach? Why go out where there's nothing out there or you're going to catch Dorado 10 miles offshore when the Dorado are, you know, just the, once again, right off the beach, right off the rocks, or they're in the channel very close. Why burn the gas? The fish are right there. Folks were telling me, you know, listen, we got into a Dorado school and for 45 minutes, it was like, it was like hand feeding fish in a, in a fish pond. They're all over the place. There's only, I, I could only put one rod in my hand, but there's, the captain's got one, my husband, wife, buddy's got another one, and there's fish all over the place. The captain is throwing bait into the water just to keep them around. The boats around us are all bent, and there's Dorado everywhere. And then, you know, what they tell me is they see some big boy cruising along the outside. Most of these fish that we're catching, anywhere from five to about 15 pounds, good legitimate size fish fun fish, especially for a lot of the folks that aren't, uh, you know, haven't caught a lot of fish. Maybe it's their first time down here. Maybe it's the first time fishing on the ocean. So to have Dorado jumping all over the place and bending rods and it's not going to, you know, kick their butts or nothing. They're just going to have fun. That five to 15 pound Dorado is a perfect size. A lot of smaller ones. And I will tell you that for every fish that came in the boat, we probably released three or four of the smaller ones or folks just caught limits so quickly. And some of the limits, they were telling me they were getting limits by 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. After that, it was just catch and release as fast as they could go. But they'd have, you know, all of these fish swimming around them. And then there's the big boy right on the outside perimeter. You know, there's the 30, the 40 pounder, the big monstro mahi that's right there. And they throw bait at it. But before the big boy could get it, here come all the little squirts. And, and, and you know, a 15 pound fish is not a squirt, but they're so uh, aggressive that they're fighting each other to get to your bait. That zzz, they're on and the big guy never gets a shot. Or some of these big fish were hooked and then, you know, they're big for a reason. You've got light tackle on, you've got 30, maybe 40 pound test and you're on a fish for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. We had some Dorado on for an hour. The longer you've got a fish on, the greater the chance it's gonna throw the hook, especially with these Dorado. If you don't keep a lot of pressure on them, they're very acrobatic. They're gonna run all over the place. They're gonna flip. They're gonna be somersaulting all over. If you don't keep a tight line on these fish, they're gonna throw the hook. So the longer you have this big fish on, 
the greater the chance you're going to lose it. And we did lose some really big fish. But overall, everybody's gotten uh, got into the Dorado bite. Everyone took home probably more fish than they expected. We cooked up a lot of Dorado at our restaurant. And uh, hey, we're not going to say we didn't like it. Everybody ha had a great time. Other species we are getting, even though the Dorado were pretty, I, I'd probably say 99% of the fish were Dorado, there's still some rooster fish hanging around. A very big surprise because mostly our rooster fish season is going to be in the spring and early summer. And then we don't see too many roosters after that. We got some roosters this week, just kind of a surprise incidental catch. None of the big 50, 60, 100 pounders that we normally get, but you know, some fun five to 10 pound fish are still running around on the beaches. In addition to that, we had a pretty good bite on the billfish, sailfish marlin. Uh, when I say marlin, I'm saying stripers, blues, and we even had a black on. Uh, one, of the rod, one of our fishermen was on a big, big blue for about three hours, and the rod finally snapped and they lost the fish. So they're out there. I'd say probably we had maybe seven or eight hookups this week. I think we only got two to the boat. Others were long fights or they didn't last long because many times you're fishing for these smaller species and then you've got light line, you've got a small hook, this big boy comes through, he's eating the bait, he's eating the Dorado, he's eating the Bonita, you get hooked up on it and then the fight's on and you're outgunned. So we did lose a number of those but very exciting times, good to know these fish are here. Other than that, some Pargo, some Cabrilla, some, uh, some Pompano, some Trevally, still some snapper around. If you want to go fish inshore and fish for some of these, they're still there. But overall, a great Dorado bite. Everybody's happy. Weather was great. I don't see anything on the horizon in this coming week as far as any weather patterns that we should be concerned about. So I don't want to talk too loud and jinx everything. But overall, it looks like things are going to be really good. Anyway, I'm Jonathan for the Mexican Minute. Don't turn this off. Check out all the photos this week. I got a big gallery for you. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for checking in. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to give us a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time. God bless.